these or are the two stars? Okay, wait, we're back. Okay, look. Um, look, our next guest was named the fan favorite on Top Chef. He's got a book. It's brand new. It's called Fabio's American Home Kitchen. Please welcome back to our show, Fabio Viviani. Yay! Thank you so much. Thank you guys for having me. Yes. Now, last time you were here, we made some delicious meatballs. Now, this time we're making something more American and Southern. What do you know about this born in Italy? So, here's the deal. The accent is still there. Uh-huh. The citizenship is still Italian. Uh-huh. But this is my 10th anniversary, 10 year in America. Oh. So, so I had to... I had to bring, I had to bring it home, you know? Yes, so now we're making one of my favorites. Don't you love shrimp and grits? I love shrimp and grits. And we make them, we make them very, very easy and very, very tasty with the addition of few ingredients. Let me show you what we do here. Okay. We got some shrimp and we have to uh, kind of coat these in flour a little bit. Okay. Just, just give it a swirl in flour. That wasn't a lot of flour. Yeah, That's just, just a, little... a little bit and cook them. And in... that's a little tiny bit of oil. That, no, that's not oil. What that's is that? bacon fat. <gasps> Yes, and you know, and you know why, and you know why, because somebody's got to eat it. it. It's just, it's just very flavorful. Yes. Now, is this the kind of food you make in your restaurants? I know you have several restaurants around the country. I, we have a bunch of them. Actually, we are about to open our new location in South Beach, Siena Tavern. Oh. And, you know, what we try to do, I'm going to add some mushroom Mushrooms. to it. Now, that's a, that's a twist. That's a twist. Okay. Mushrooms are very Italian, but they're also known in American for being very earthy and add a lot of flavor to dishes. Mm -hmm. Now, what now, we do in our restaurant, we do Italian food, but we influence with American culture and American ingredients. Uh -huh. So it's not always Italian. I got gotcha. you. By the way, still the best meatballs, the three meats. There you have it, yes. Yeah, veal, pork, and beef. Veal, pork, and beef. Yes, very good. I, mm, that's I a green meatball. onion. Oh, okay, green onions. Green onion, and then we have the two final touch before what, we move to the polenta. That? This is some uh, chipotle sauce. We like that. Hot and smoky. Mm -hmm. And a touch of lime juice. Very nice. Now, once this is cooked, it won't take much. Now, as you know, grits and polenta, they go hand in hand. Yes. It's ground corn. So we have a cream base with a touch of broth. We're going to add some Spanish chorizo to it. Now, you took the skin off the chorizo, because yes. normally chorizo skin it's is It's a tough. sausage, right. It's, it's, tough, it's, a, it's, a, it's a casing, so yes. you want to take it off. And then, to that, we're going to add some cornmeal. Cornmeal? Polenta or grits. Po okay. Whatever, whatever you prefer. You know, it's, it's about how fine is grain, and, and you but, can... But we can use grits. Yeah, grits and polenta is really the same things. It's corn, it's ground corn. So that's <sighs> a good thing. And it's, uh, you know, it's the same. Good food is good food. Doesn't okay. have a flag, right? Okay, okay. So here's... Well, only because uh, I know how to make the instant grits. And so that's... <laughs> but that's it. Same. Uh, you know. Look, instant, instant or late grits, stale grits. No, it has a, a yellow a color to it. Oh, here's cheese. what we do. We're going to add a little of America, some cheddar cheese, and a huh. little of Italia, some Grana Padano here. What kind of, what is that? Is Grana that... Padano is a very good, mild Italian cheese. Okay. And it's the cheese of choice to sprinkle on top of pasta. Oh my risotto. God, it's very delicious, the Grana Padano. Yes. Gra say, say with me. Grana. Grana. Padano. Padano. High five. Good. Love it. All right, all right. So that's the final dish. That's the final dish. And then what we do for the amusement of your palate, we scoop the shrimp the mushroom, and the chorizo on top. Okay. I'll be the judge of this. Please, do. Mm. I'll be the judge of this. Mmm. It's a good dish. It's a good dish. Very American, and it has a twist. What else do you want? What's this? So, this is a pear tart. It's, you know, America's famous for pies. Mm. Apple pies, pear pies. Idol is not very famous in dessert, so what we did to add the twist, we cooked the pear in red wine, Oh. And then we slice them whole, Chianti wine from Italy. And oh, then wait. we slice them whole. And then we serve them with a little wine glaze and a little whipped cream. It's a really nice presentation. It's a beautiful dessert. I'll be the judge of that. It's crossing finger. Mmm, it's good. It is good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. This might not be so easy to make at home. It's very easy. It's mixing the dough inside, poaching the pear, and creating a pie crust with the food processor. It's actually very easy. Every food I do is very easy. This looks very simple. It's very delicious. Both. For more information on these recipes, go to wendyshow.com. Fabio, thank you so much for thank being here. Thank you so much. Thank There's you, guys. Thank you. Fabio's American Home Kitchen. It's available in bookstores right now. Studio audience, you're all going home with your coffee. <laughs> Wendy 
is next. 